For this video, I want to have a look at how we can assemble the part that's been created in, um, in Onshape, um, so using an iPad. So we have the side of our trinket box um, showing here. Um, I'm going to then um, take this into the assembly page in order to then start um, creating a completed shape using several parts. So I'm going to click on the assembly tab, which is the second tab along. And as you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment. So I need to import parts in. So I'm going to click on the, um, the top icon that looks like a box with an arrow going into it. That's the insert menu. And you can see what's ever, whatever's listed as parts in part one studio. So click on that part there to ins insert it in. And then tick to close that window. I might also want to close this part as well. Okay, now I need, need to fix this part in place. So I'm going to select that part first. And then two fingers on the board, on the, on the screen, will give you a menu. Okay, and you want to fix part one. So click on that. So now if I look back at the tree, we can see that part one has a fixed icon next to it. Okay, so that is now locked in space. We can rotate it in its, in its environment. So we can rotate it around, but it, we can't move it anywhere at all okay can't move it so now i want to um, bring in a second shape into this so go to insert choose another copy of part one studio okay and tick that now this is going to appear directly over the top of our first um, part here so we need to move this out the way there we are okay so that's ready for us to use now we want to, to rotate this around through 180 degrees. So I'm gonna take this handle at the top here, yeah, and I'm going to rotate that around. Now on the PC version, you get a, um, a dialog box that tells you how much you're rotating this by, okay? With um, this, you don't get that menu at all. So we don't know how far we've actually rotated that. Um, if we undo that, I think if we right click on it, uh, no, it doesn't tell us um, that at all. So it ha it ha you have to do it by trial and error by the looks of it as you rotate it, okay? So click on that handle, rotate it round to make it roughly 180 degrees, okay? Then we need to, um, to then find our mates for it. So I'm gonna be joining that surface there with the underside of this surface here. So. Um, it's going to be a line around. So I'm going to also rotate this round through 90 degrees, like so. Okay. So there should be 90 degrees there. Okay. And that'll make it easier for it to align. So we want to, ro to, to link that surface there with the underside of this object here. Now you may need to unlock your screen so you can actually see that rotating around. So we're trying to, un to mesh it up with that, the underside there. Okay. All right, so what I need to do, I need to get um, my tools up, choose the planar mate, yep. I'm gonna click on the underside of this surface here, there, and I need to then make sure I've got the, the planar mate in place. So I might need to just try that one again, and there, that's it there, okay. Um, we don't need that second one there, so I'll delete that out of the way, that's it, okay. Um, then I need to choose the underside of the other object here, which is going to be oh, the, the top side of this surface here. And make sure I choose the middle part on that. There, and now that's locked, linked in together there. Okay, tick that, and that's now join those two surfaces together. And then we just bring in extra parts into the, um, into the, the model. Okay, so that one there there. Now you have to remember that when it comes in, it's coming actually over the top of the original position. So let's move that over. There we are. So again, we can choose how that's going to link to the next part by choosing the underside of one and the top side of the other to get it to move into its right position. And we can use our arrows to get it lined up for us. Okay. Yeah. If I look at my top view, you can see this, that's what I'm trying to line it up to, okay? Now, if you find that it's locked in place, just click on that icon to unlock it so you can rotate around as you move around there, okay? 
and you should be able to get your completed box done that way. Thank you.